I'm Dustin Williams and we are here today at AA Callister's talking about how to fit a boot. You know, I've been working here for seven years and I've seen all kinds of feet. And everyone's not that same cookie cutter style. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to fit it perfectly for your foot. There's two ways that you can do it. Um, here in the store, we have the convenience of using a Brannock device. A Brannock device was not made for the Western industry, so it won't give you a perfect fit, but what it'll give you is a really good jumping off point. A Brannock has three important measurements, the length, the width, and the arch length. For what we're going to do for our purposes, the width and length is really great, but the arch length will also give you a little insight into how the instep will fit, which is also important. So with a Brannock device, you want to line up with the proper heel, have you or person you're fitting have the foot lay flat in it as tight as it can against the back of the device. And then what you would like to do is run this, which will go to the ball of the foot, which is the widest part of the foot, run that to whatever length that is, and then have them put a little more weight on this than the other foot that's not being measured. And what that'll do is it'll push the width out. At that point, you take the length, you take a look of the numbers here, and they'll give you the proper width. So most people, the standard is a D width for men's, B if you're a lady. And then you also take a look here for the arch length. If it's a little bit longer than the length of the foot, that tells you the two things. The arch is either high in the instep, or the arch is long, which would give you a low instep. And that's a really good jumping off point. Um, of course, you at home don't have a Brannock device, so we'll tell you how to fit it into a boot by trial and error. A boot, as you'll notice, a classic western boot, does not have laces. So unlike a tennis shoe, you have to be snug in the instep. That being said, it is also a little difficult getting into, so pull hard. When you get your foot into the boot, you're going to hear a nice little pop, and what you're going to get is snug through the instep, like a firm handshake. Not too tight, but I shouldn't be able to pinch any leather when you check the fit through here. It should be snug through the width and the ball of your foot should line up with the widest part of the boot. That doesn't mean going there and smashing the toe box down like your mom's always told you ever since you were a kid. A boot is not fitted from heel to toe. It's fitted from heel to ball of the foot and your toe will fall within the toe box. Now where do you jump off in terms of size? A boot is really close to a tennis shoe. So depending on the style, you want to go either below, which is normal, or a tiny bit higher if it's a little more pointed toe. One other important thing is you're going to notice when you try that boot on that your heel is going to lift. A lot of people say, you know, it fits really good in the foot, but you know, my heel's lifting pretty far. It's a very normal feeling. Your heel should lift just a bit. In fact, at maximum, the bottom of your heel should lift about a half an inch. That slippage will subside as soon as that sole flexes to your foot and the boot breaks in. It won't always have that lift. And that is how you properly fit a Western boot.